New clinical studies are showing that low-carb diets and ketogenic diets are causing insulin resistance. Whereas both diets are designed to keep blood sugar low and minimize blood sugar spikes. This video is going to explain how low blood sugar spikes contribute to insulin resistance. Blood glucose spikes and insulin response activate brown fat adipose tissue. Brown fat activation reverses diabetes, hyperlipidemia, obesity, linoleic acid accumulation, leptin resistance, insulin resistance, and FGF21 resistance. Brown fat removes excess glucose from the blood. I recommend you to follow these YouTube influencers. Justin K and the Glucose Goddess provides uh, continuous glucose monitoring reports. Their content will help you understand blood sugar spikes. At the end of this video, you're going to see what a blood sugar spike should look like when you have your brown adipose tissue activated. Doctors Paul Saladino, Stephen Cabral, and John McDougall all promote uh, blood sugar spikes are healthy. Please note Dr. McDougall passed away in 2024. Dr. McDougall claimed 100% reversal of type 2 diabetes in tens of thousands of patients on a protein restriction diet. The main job of a blood glucose spike is to activate brown fat adipose tissue. Brown fat lowers blood glucose to proper normal levels, modulates proper lipid ratios including cholesterol, LDL, and APOB. It's the exclusive organ to burn excess linoleic acid. Prevents linoleic acid accumulation, lowers branch chain amino acids. Lowers advanced glycation end products. It's the main organ to repair and reverse sleep deprivation. Maintains proper bodily temperature. It's the body's main organ to prevent weight gain and obesity. It's the body's main organ to prevent sarcopenia and muscle loss. It's the body's most important organ to prevent insulin resistance. It stimulates and modulates pathways for neurotransmitters. It reverses hyperglycemia, insulin resistance, diabetes, obesity, and causes rapid weight loss. It helps reverse sarcopenia. It reverses heart damage following heart attack and stroke. It lowers the risk of heart failure. It reverses NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It helps reverse polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. It lowers the risk for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and depression. Dysregulation of BAT is linked to increased suicide risk. I'm not going to go over what's in the next slide. It's just a preview of what's coming in a future video. So you might want to stop the video or take a picture to if you want to read that information. The next video is also a preview of what's coming in some future videos. The following slide is a list of the upcoming videos that you might want to take a look at. The last three slides are my personal continuous glucose monitor results. Prior to the CGM reports at the end of the video, I'm providing you a couple of clinical studies demonstrating that low-carb diets and ketogenic diets are causing insulin resistance. I'm going to cover these studies uh, fully in an upcoming video. The CGM reports are going to show you what a blood glucose spike looks like when you have your brown adipose tissue activated. Look how it's going straight up and straight down. If you notice how the lines look like a lie detector test, that demonstrates that your brown adipose tissue is turned on. Thanks for watching.